and welcome back to another episode of Stay Healthy and Waste Less. Before we begin, we have a special announcement. Thanks to our partners, Fresh Approach and the San Mateo Office of Sustainability, we are able to offer $6 in vouchers to buy fresh fruits and vegetables at local farmers markets. These vouchers are available while supplies last, but are guaranteed for the first 20 viewers. Details about where you can redeem these vouchers at locations throughout the Bay Area are available in the video description. We'll provide the link at the end of the video. Hello, Food Waste Warriors. I'm Adrienne Markworth, the Executive Director of Leah's Pantry. Today, we are going to talk about broccoli. Broccoli is a great food for Food Waste Warriors because you can eat it in a lot of different ways. You can roast it, you can steam it, you can eat it raw, you can put it in um, a soup, you can shred it up and make it into slaw. Today we're going to roast it, really easy recipe with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little lemon juice at the end. But today we're going to talk first about knife skills because very little of the broccoli needs to be wasted, but sometimes more is wasted than necessary. So let's take a look at broccoli. We've got the florets on top, we've got the nubby stalk on the bottom. Let's cut off the stalks first. We'll talk about the florets in a minute. And I have got two stalks ready to go. You can see when I look at them closely, there's kind of a white part in the middle and then it looks like a skin around it. So let's weigh them and see how much these stalks actually weigh. Because what we really want to do is keep pounds of food out of the landfill. So I put it in here in my food scale and these two stalks of broccoli weigh five ounces. Okay, so I'm gonna take them off now and I'm gonna cut them. And I'm gonna cut them like this. I'm gonna put it on a nice flat part and I'm gonna very carefully cut just that outer skin. I'm gonna save all that I can of the inside of the broccoli. Here we go. And now we can see that this whole stock is nice and tender and soft and will be perfect roasted. So let's do this for the other stock. Okay, and now I have just this outer stuff that I'm not planning on roasting. And I'm gonna put it back into my scale. And now I have like two and a half ounces. So I went from five ounces to two and a half ounces. I have the amount of food waste. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of the broccoli. So when we're roasting broccoli, we don't want the florets to disintegrate. We want them to stay nice and intact. And the best way to do that is to cut from the bottom. So sometimes I see people cut right into that. Not a good strategy. Understand the architecture of your vegetables. So you can see in this case that these florets can actually just kind of pop right off, but you can also cut them. And so if you cut down into this, you're gonna see none of my broccoli is really gonna fall off. It's all just gonna stay in pretty good shape. And then I can kind of cut it from there according to the size that I want for roasting. And you can see now I have some nice, gorgeous florets for roasting. So let's take a look at how we're gonna prepare them. Okay, so I've laid my broccoli out on a rimmed cookie sheet. I added some more broccoli to this. I had showed you guys two stocks, but I had a few more and I wanted to cook a larger batch. So I've got three ingredients here that I'm gonna add with the broccoli. The first one is some olive oil. The second one is some salt. And the third one is some pepper. When I take it out of the oven, that's when I'm gonna put the lemon on it. So first thing I'm gonna do is just drizzle maybe a tablespoon or two of olive oil on the broccoli. I'm gonna mix it up with my hands. Make sure it gets all kinda coated. You can do this in a bowl also. I don't like to do dishes, so I'm always looking for ways to have fewer. So this looks pretty good to me. Okay, then I'm gonna wash my hands. And then I'm 
going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on my broccoli just like this. Maybe a teaspoon of salt. Mm, probably only about half a teaspoon of pepper. And then I preheated my oven, so I'm gonna take this, just throw it in my oven. I put my oven about 375 or 400, um, and I expect this to take about 15 or 20 minutes to get to where I want it to be. So we'll check back in a second and see how our broccoli looks. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the broccoli to cook, I needed something to do. And what I decided to do was some math. I wanted to know how many pounds of waste did we just divert from that trick over the course of a year. So let's pretend every week I cook two stalks of broccoli and then I don't throw away the stalks, but I trim them and I roast what I can and then I make stock out of the rest and then I put the rest into my warm bin. So none of that broccoli ever goes into a landfill. What does that mean in terms of poundage? So here's what I did. I said, we've got two stalks, which was five ounces. We're gonna do this every week. So that's 260 ounces, which is about 16 pounds in broccoli alone. Imagine if we did this for every single thing that we eat. What is 16 pounds? Well, here's my weights. That's a lot of broccoli. I'm telling you, this is pretty heavy when I think about if I was holding a giant bag of broccoli. Ooh, that's hot and steamy. Put it right here. Close the oven door. Sometimes I leave my oven on just for a minute in case I do want to put it back in. But these look pretty good to me. I like them when they're a little bit brown. I can see they're starting to get browned on the edges. And then I'm going to take some fresh lemon and I'm going to squeeze it all over the broccoli. This was a really juicy lemon. So I only need half of it. So I can put the other half of the lemon back in the fridge and do something else with it. So, let's taste it. Might be a little too hot. I'll blow it off. And take a look at it. It's beautiful broccoli. Roasted and delicious. 